today we're going to learn about triangles. We have three vocabulary words today for you to write down. The first is right triangle. A right triangle is a triangle with one right angle. Here's a picture. So there's a triangle and it has one right angle. And then it also has two other angles. So every triangle has three angles. That's why it's called a triangle. Because tri means three. A right triangle also has two sides that make perpendicular lines. As you'll remember from earlier in the chapter, perpendicular lines are two lines that cross to make a right angle, which we have right here at the bottom corner of this triangle. So we have perpendicular sides, one right angle, and then this has two acute angles. So that is a right triangle. Second, we have obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle is a triangle with one obtuse angle. Here's a picture for that one. There's the one obtuse angle, and then once again we have two acute angles. So one obtuse, two acute. Third, we have acute triangle. An acute triangle is a triangle with three acute angles. So here's our triangle. This angle is less than 90 degrees. This angle is less than 90 degrees. And this angle is less than 90 degrees. So we have three acute angles. So this is an acute triangle. Okay. We also, our triangles are made up of line segments, which we talked about earlier in the chapter. So we have a line segment from point A to point B. And we write that as line segment AB, with an AB with a line above it. We have line segment BC. And we have line segment AC. Another new vocabulary word today is called a vertex. A vertex is the point where two line segments meet. So anywhere two of our line segments meet, it's called a vertex. So we have vertex A, vertex B, and a vertex C. When we have more than one vertex, we call them vertices. So our three vertices are A, B, and C. So just like a triangle has three angles, it also has three line segments and three vertices. Now that we're caught up on vocabulary, let's do my examples. Here are instructions. These instructions will be for all the rest of the problems we have today. So our instructions say, classify the triangle as acute, right, or obtuse. Determine how many sides are perpendicular. So the only triangles that have perpendicular sides are right triangles, and they have two. And the other triangles, acute and obtuse, do not have any perpendicular sides. So here's our first example. Here's a triangle. We need to figure out if it, first of all, is acute, right, or obtuse. So I can tell, because of this square mark in the corner, that this is a right angle. If we have one right angle, that makes it a right triangle. So this is a right triangle. The second part of our instructions say to determine how many sides are perpendicular. So how many of these sides make a right angle? And we have two. So we have line segment AB is perpendicular with line segment BC. So we have two 
perpendicular sides. Here's our second example, same instructions. We need to classify if this triangle is an acute triangle, a right triangle, or a obtuse triangle. Well, I have this one angle in the bottom middle that is definitely greater than 90 degrees. So this one is cute, this one is obtuse, and this one is acute. If we have one obtuse angle, it means it is an obtuse triangle. And do we have any perpendicular lines? Two lines that make a right angle? No. So there are zero perpendicular lines. Okay, I want you to try these next two. So first of all, write down if you think it is an acute right or obtuse triangle. And then determine if there are any perpendicular lines. Unpause this once you're ready, and we'll see if you got the answer right. Okay, so both of these are acute. This is acute. So if we have all three acute angles, it is an acute triangle. And we have zero perpendicular lines. None of our lines meet at a 90 degree angle. So we are ready for your second problem to do with me. Is this triangle acute, right, or obtuse? And how many sides are perpendicular? So we have an acute, acute, and a right. So since we have a right, this is a right triangle. And since it's a right triangle, we have two sides that are perpendicular. So line segment AB and line segment BC are perpendicular. Okay, you're now ready for the four problems to come show me tomorrow. Problem number one. Classify this triangle and then write if there are any perpendicular lines. Number two. Classify this triangle and then determine if there are any perpendicular lines. Number three, classify the triangle as acute, right, or obtuse. Determine how many sides are perpendicular. And last of all, classify this triangle and determine if there are any perpendicular sides. Bring these to class tomorrow and enjoy the rest of your day.